Hello everyone and welcome to episode 10 of Sawaro Valley. In today's episode we will be adding some color and life to the city with a bunch of new, uh, basically just a bunch of new golf courses really and a small little community up to the, I guess it'd be the north or south of the city, I'm not quite sure of the orientation at this point, but we're basically just going to be adding a whole lot of greenery to the city and it's at the end it's going to look really <laughs> really uh, different and just a lot more colorful than the map usually has been for the past few episodes but yeah it's just the beginning here uh, of me building this golf course that will basically serve as a template for the rest of the episode I don't get to quite finish uh, the bigger project that you're about to see in a few seconds but uh, in the end it looks amazing So you can see me building here now is basically Sun City, which is this huge um, residential area, which I guess it's its own city, actually, that just to the north, uh, northwest of Phoenix. It's it's really known for its huge, I guess, golf courses. Like the layout of this place is just insanely geometric. There's a bunch of circles and just wavy roads all over the place and in between these neighborhoods there's just golf courses and just huge belts of greenery and parks which honestly looks amazing from above but um, now that I've taken a few environmental classes in college it's just kind of really bad for the environment but you know what it is what it is so uh, this is a very iconic um, feature of Sun City and Phoenix in general really especially towards the north of the city there's just a lot of greenery and a lot of golf basically which is what this uh, episode is dedicated towards just a bunch of golf courses and uh, belts of greenery that really give uh, a sense of life to the city if I'm, if I'm being honest because before this there, the city was just brown with very few um, uh, areas of greenery. I, there's trees and stuff obviously which gives some color and life to the city but it's nothing compared to this really. It's definitely not as obvious and um, it doesn't stick out as much as these golf courses do. And speaking of golf courses, I I am making my own like little custom golf courses here with um, painter tools and stuff like that. I'm not using assets off the workshop because the ones that I've used or found in the past, they're like these bright green color and I just don't, didn't like the way that looked in the city so I decided to make my own and actually I didn't even make golf courses here in this belt. Uh, this is literally just a huge park but as, as you're gonna see in the next few seconds after this time lapse is over, um, I'm literally just gonna be making a huge area full of different golf courses and just custom made with uh, painter tools and uh, resources that the game gives us so yeah stick around for that So I'd like to take a moment to mention something that you guys are going to see later on in the episode, which is a live, a live segment where I'm basically going to fly around the city and just show you what I've built so far in the city and talk about what I plan to do next and future projects that are going to be coming very soon within the next few episodes. But yeah, just stick around for that. That's going to be in the end of the episode. But right now, what you can see me building is this huge like band of of uh, golf courses that is inspired by the I don't really even know what it's called here but it's this huge like I think it's like a dried up river 
riverbed that just a bunch of developers decided to turn into a bunch of golf courses and it's here in Scottsdale um, yeah it's like a huge belt of just greenery and golf courses that runs all the way through like the middle of Scottsdale up to like northern Phoenix next to the Paradise Valley Village but basically it's a lot it's a lot smaller but I'm basing it specifically off of this small portion that's situated around the Mc, McCormick Ranch Golf Club I'm just reading it off Google Maps right now but essentially there's like a bunch of uh, lakes and water features here and some really nice residential housing that you're gonna see me build later on in the episode well actually up next after this uh, montage here but or time-lapse rather but uh, yeah, it's just basically more golf courses. It's nothing too interesting. It's the same it's the same process that you just saw me building in the previous segment of the video. But uh, yeah, I don't know how I'm going to uh, create housing around this because honestly I have trouble placing down these houses in a way that looks good because I feel like a lot of these workshop houses are just meant for like grid-like uh, uh, neighborhood patterns, not these wavy curvy roads that uh, it's just the backyards and the square design of each house just doesn't really fit well with what I'm trying to achieve here but uh, in the next segment you will see me build a neighborhood that tries to tackle that so um yeah stick around for that obviously but there's nothing too much to talk about here it's just a huge uh a huge bed of golf courses really it's the same it's the same technique where I'm just placing around these really thin paths which I might replace actually later on I don't know if I actually did that on camera or not but these really they, these like thin paths give me a lot of issues sometimes when I reload the save and it's just like a couple of them a couple of the nodes are just sunken deep into the ground and I have to use move it to just bring them back into a, like a normal stance or level I guess so I'm definitely going to try and like find some alternatives. I don't like the vanilla ones because those are just too wide and really um, they stick out a lot and these just like kind of these are just perfect for an outline here as you can see so yeah I don't know what I'm going to do about that but they look good. Okay, so recording 10 minute episodes every week is <laughs> is quite the challenge for me. I do not know how uh, other people do this, like even 20 minute videos, commentating over this is such a difficult thing to do, but I guess with practice people get better, but yeah, anyways, what you can see me building here is these, it's this small little neighborhood that will later serve as inspiration to what I, for what I plan to build. Um, in the rest of this area uh, that's inspired by Scottsdale, I guess. And um, the thing is, like these, this house pack that I downloaded for this area, like the houses look amazing. It's the house pack called JKLA Housing by, I want to say, let me let me see the name real quick. It's by Reaper, I want to say. But yeah, the houses look amazing, but they're definitely meant for more rectangular um, neighborhoods rectangular road layout to grid basically yeah grid oh my god but um the one what I want to work with here is obviously a lot of curvy networks and roads and stuff like that so having these rectangular backyard lot housing here was difficult to work with to say the least because I couldn't quite make these look good like they fit into the area you know so what I ended up doing was just using the green uh, texture uh, wait why did I go downtown <laughs> I ended up using the green uh, grass texture decal from from the houses here and I just plopped them everywhere I don't know if I included it here in the video but it basically helped tie in all the houses together and um, yeah it makes it look way way better in my opinion
Hello everyone, and welcome to the live segment of t today's episode. Uh, the first time I'm doing this, really, but um, the reason for me doing this is because I would like to chat for a few minutes about the future of this um, series. Don't worry, that sounded a bit negative. Don't worry, it's not going away, but I have some plans for, for the city, and I also want to talk about some of the things that I've built off camera, which is... Um, basically this half of the city over here um you basically just haven't seen anything in the videos related to any of this that's on camera right now so i want to talk a bit about that and just to start us off here is um is this stadium here uh the reason a lot of this just didn't make it into any episode is largely just due to the fact that um a lot of my recording footage just corrupted due to the whole my CPU not being good uh, conversation that I have that I had with you guys back in a few episodes. But yeah, basically all of my recording footage just turned out to be unwatchable, and just I I couldn't make a video out of that uh, out of those video files. So I'm just gonna honestly just destroy a lot of this, and I a lot of this isn't really finished either, so I don't really mind, and I oh. Crap. <laughs> I, I know I can do better than what I built on camera here, so this this freeway, this um this stadium here, this is all gonna go away. I, I I can do better. I really like this asset though. This asset, this stadium asset, I don't know who it's by, but it's a really, really well done building here. Um it just matches perfectly with the brown Arizona desert vibe, so I'm definitely just gonna rebuild this somewhere else, make it look better and have a hopefully a really good episode out of this and the next part is this airport here I have had so much trouble trying to figure out where it, to put an airport in the city and the reason for that is just because I don't have a lot of room here I don't want to build out too far into the desert I don't want to make the city huge I kind of want to keep it roughly this big what you see on camera here and um yeah I just can't I just couldn't figure out where to squeeze in an airport because I had a bunch of suburbs and neighborhoods planned for this area and over here too when a bunch of like malls and just shopping centers and stuff so I was like I don't know where to put this airport but ultimately I just decided to um actually I'll talk about that in a second but yeah this airport is gonna go away this this is temporary this is just gonna go away it's ugly I don't like it so that's 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 going away now this university city is temporary this is all just insanely temporary this is not at all gonna s stay here in the city this is literally just me um, messing around with a bunch of university buildings and just a bunch of other buildings to just to see what I got what I have to work with um, this is all just gonna get destroyed and rebuilt into something that's actually a good-looking build so just ignore that. That's literally just me messing around with stuff that I have to see what looks good. And, um, yeah, that's, that's, just don't worry about that. <laughs> and last but not least is this build here, which is, uh, supposed to be my recreation of Grand Avenue, which is this large, almost freeway kind of road. I don't even know what it really is, but it's this road in Phoenix that's kind of like, I don't know, I don't want to say iconic, but it's 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 a interesting feature of the city, and I just wanted to recreate it here in Saguaro Valley. It's basically just this huge diagonal road that runs on the n northwest of the city, and it basically just runs diagonal uh, in relation to the grid layout that Phoenix has. So this was my attempt at trying to recreate that. I like this build. This is not going to go away. I'm just going to expand upon it and detail it a bit more. Uh, in later episodes, but yeah, this I couldn't. I, this was gonna be an episode uh, by itself, but obviously the video files just didn't let me. So uh, yeah, that that's that's basically that. I like the build, and I'm gonna continue working on this in the future, make it look better, make it m more developed. But yeah, that, that's that. But now we get to this, this huge just relatively undeveloped half of the city. What I plan to do here is essentially just demolish everything that you see on camera right now. 
And the reason for that is because the airport is going to go here. I have decided that I am going to build a huge airport here. Not terribly huge. I have this little outline over here just off to this off to the side of the map that this is roughly the size and shape of the airport and if I use move it to oh it's already selected if I use move it to copy all this and um, move it into place this is roughly roughly what the airport location will be I might move it around I'm, I'm still I'm still thinking about it but just somewhere here probably here but just somewhere here that this is where the airport is going to be and the reason for that is because that's kind of where it it is in um in, re in real life in phoenix arizona it's just this huge it's in the middle of the city basically it's right next to downtown and um yeah i originally had it over here uh it was actually kind of roughly the same size actually but the fact that it was just over here it felt like just out of place it just felt like it was away from the city and the fact that it was so huge and far from any uh, anything else made me feel like I was obligated to develop around this area too to just make the airport feel more um, tied into the city and not just this giant development that's away from the city and just connected to, uh, by a freeway or something so yeah the airport is gonna be much better looking than that over here and it's going to be in a much better location which is roughly here and yeah that is basically all I have to say about this area this mall and these neighborhoods these neighborhoods were basically temporary anyway so I don't care about destroying those but this mall I just don't like it I don't like how it turned out it definitely wasn't finished at all by any means, so I didn't just finish the episode and just say, hey, this is done. But, yeah, I just don't like how this mall turned out. I definitely could have done a lot better, and I will do a lot better in in uh, next week's episode. Uh, which is just, uh, if you want a sneak peek, you probably saw a bit just while I was flying around. But next episode will be on the other side of the freeway right here. You can just kind of see this 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 is next steps this is the next episode i'm not going to show too much but that <laughs> that is a much much better looking mall than what i have here oh what's happening hello hello oh was it saving i think i would think that was saving um <laughs> but yeah that's it's gonna be a much better build than uh than this so i don't mind destroying this and i'm honestly just gonna destroy a lot of these freeways too but yeah, this this area over here is just gonna be redeveloped. It's gonna be it's gonna look a lot better, and I'm gonna hopefully be able to make an episode out of this and not have the video files be corrupted. But yeah, that is this is this is Saguaro Valley, uh, ten episodes in. So with that being said, if you liked today's episode, please uh, leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already bunch of other YouTube stuff, follow me on Twitter and Instagram where I post a lot of other cities, skylines, city skylines rela related content, post screenshots of, um, of Saguaro Valley, and um, yeah. Oh, one other thing, one other thing. I I am going to redevelop downtown as well. I, similar to the mall, kind of built it just to have a skyline. It doesn't look, it doesn't look bad, honestly. Like from afar, it definitely just does, doesn't not, does, uh, it doesn't look bad, but once you get up and close, it it sheds its true colors, and it's just not a really pretty sight to look at. So I'm definitely gonna redevelop this whole downtown. There's just gonna be a lot of demolition in the next few episodes. So yeah, thank you all for watching. Hope you all enjoyed this episode, and I'll see you in the next one.